find a lot of these in the farmer's market and things like that. And we have zucchini and we have um, yellow squash. Okay, so we're going to use them today. And with a chicken sausage and little potatoes. So it's like a kind of like a one skillet. I'm actually using two skillets today just because, you know, for time reason, I wanted to just um, brown off the sausage first. But we're going to come over here. Okay, you can see what I have. I have parsley. All right, so I have some chicken sausage that is brown in here. And then on the other pan, I would take this out. This pan, it, like I said, it could be a one pot pan. Take this out and then I would saute my garlic, a little bit of olive oil. Come over here. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, garlic in here. Why not to have the heat too high? We don't want to burn the garlic. Let's get that. I'm going to break this off so it's nice and fine and we're going to brown up we're going to put some onions in there and then we're going to put pre-boiled these i had them um i was originally going to do quinoa with the sausage and the yellow squash in that but you know what i had these so why not you know we might as well use what we have so we're going to put them in there we're going to saute them a little bit long like a little while so they get nice and brown now the sausage is done, so I'm at my zucchini and squash. I didn't, um, I chopped it square so it was uh, cooked quickly, but I didn't make it too little. So you can still get a nice, you know, you don't want it because it gets a little bit um, soft, very easy. Kimo. This is not going to take long to cook whatsoever. So I'm going to just add this in. And if you're vegan, you can absolutely use a vegan sausage or a sausage patty, whatever you decide. So we're going to get them nice and toasty, the potatoes. And while they're doing, we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on here. Salt and pepper. And then we're going to add it all into one skillet. Okay. Cooking down a little bit there. So no, we don't want to get it too soft, just enough. I think that's a couple more minutes. Okay, in the meantime, let me show you what it looks like at the ends. So this is our zucchini squash, chicken sausage, and sliced potatoes. Okay, as I mentioned, I did two boiling before. The water of the week this week is a uh, berry berry. So we just have berries, frozen berries, because they're very expensive right now, but you can still put frozen fruit in and you can also use a sparkling water if you want like a little bit of a fizz, whatever. Now I had some cow left over and I haven't done this in a really long time, but I used to do this a lot, especially at the beginning of um, COVID. I'm making some cow chips and all you need is cow chips. If you have cow, you put a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, I use a little bit of garlic powder, stick it in the oven on 350 for about 15, 20 minutes and they'll start like going like crispy. Once you see that, you pull them out, let them cool down and they are delicious. So it's a good snack to keep in mind. 